And when you look at the world today, you might despair and say, it looks like Jesus is losing, right? Don't underestimate what God is doing. The devil's not going to win. Indian national television is verboten for Christians. Christians can't get on Indian national television. But there's a brother in Delhi, he's got a big uh, design firm there, and he thought, I wonder if there's a way to get the gospel on Indian national television. 700 million viewers. <laughs> right? So he does this research, and he comes up with this three-part series called Gandhi's Favorite Hymns. <laughs> because Gandhi, who's the, the father of India, Gandhi had mentioned favorably certain hymns, Christian hymns, you see? And he took these beautiful scenes of India as a backdrop, and then he runs the verses up and he slowly explains the gospel, the message behind these hymns. He got three free half hours on Indian national television. I believe that there will be preeminence in heaven in the numbers saved and that the harvest that's going to be brought in is going to absolutely flabbergast us. I mean, you never would have known, for example, that God saved Nineveh if you didn't have the little book of Jonah, right? But God is right on schedule. He's right on track. He's bringing in this massive company of people. You know, we have this chart of the broad road and the narrow road, and we say everybody's born in the broad road that leads to a lost eternity, and there are only few that go on the narrow road. I know preachers preach it all the time, but it's not what the Bible says. The crowd that Jesus was speaking to, the broad road was Judaism, and the narrow road was Jesus, and most of them were going to take the Judaism door, and they weren't going to come by Jesus. That's true. But he wasn't speaking universally there. Do you know what the Bible tells me? John takes a tour of heaven. He sees this huge crowd of people that nobody can number out of every kindred, tribe, tongue, people, and nation. The angel says, who are these people? John says, I don't have a clue. You tell me. He says, these are the ones that are saved out of great tribulation. Okay? So in other words, in the darkest chapter in the history of the world, when God has only two witnesses preaching the gospel, he saves so many people you can't count them. You know that half the world is swept away before their fifth birthday. Where do they all go? Hmm? What about the 50 million abortions in the United States alone since Roe v. Wade? Where do they all go? I tell you, if there's any way that God can righteously save a person, he'll save them. People who at the very brink of death are slipping over into eternity and they realize at the last moment that their religion's a hoax and it, it gives them nothing to hang on to and they cry out to God for mercy they're plucked as brands from the burning and everybody around them thinks that they died in their religion. Only God knows. He saved them at the last. Oh, I think there are going to be millions like that. The Lord Jesus says, my house will be filled. <laughs>